Uh, how is everything going? Good, What's really What's new? Good. Are you enjoying the summer? Is yeah, it yeah, it's good. I, I'm, uh, do I, I don't seem stressed. I no, seem you relaxed. look fantastic. I'm a little stressed. I have, oh, in are. a couple of weeks, I've got, over the course of uh, four days, uh, about 96 hours, I have my wife's birthday, I have a 20-year anniversary, I have my mom's 85th birthday, I have my oldest daughter turning 16, and my youngest daughter turning 10. Holy mackerel. Can I borrow some money? From you? <laughs> oh my God. Wow! Uh, I know that you uh, uh, you have three daughters. We were talking about that. Maybe yeah. a beautiful wife backstage. Yeah. Uh, what what are they doing this summer? Because they're ten and yeah, ten, uh, uh, they're ten. Hold on, they're ten, uh, thirteen, sixteen. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And uh, we, you know, we're busy. It's busy time. Summer running Vacation around. Vacation or to, no, just taking them to. Uh, activities, museums, a little bit of travel. They don't go to camp or anything. They don't. They don't do. Uh, they don't do camp. I, in fairness, I made a. I made a terrible mistake uh, regarding camp. Um, I told them my own camp story, which was a bad move. Okay, that was a mistake. I. Uh, I told them about. I was. I went to this camp Tippy Cumpsa in Virginia when I was a, a kid, and uh, just your. There's an, owl, there's an owl. I slightly changed the name to avoid a lawsuit, so you did not go to camp to become so. No, no, they're being supportive. They're like, we, I almost went to that place. <laughs> <laughs> was, no, as I say, it sounded like one owl was loose, and it was like, <laughs> It wasn't a full owl. committed, whoo! It was like a, it was like an animal whoo. call. Yeah, it wasn't. I guess it's a camp story, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So they probably went to camp. Um, yeah. So at any rate, thank you for setting the mood. So, so I'm at camp to become set, and, and it's part. a pretty much standard camp. You know, you go into these little cabins, <laughs> and, and uh, the kids are all, you got your friends, and, uh, and meet some other kids. And there's always one resident pain in yeah. the ass. Yeah, kid, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 of course. Ass, other than me. And there was this kid, uh, Chizzy. Mm. And, uh, and he, there was a, a counselor, a guy named Clay, who's kind of the, you know, buffed out counselor. Now, are you, are you cha changing all the names? No, no, I'm not. I'm back, on, I'm back on facts. So there are two real people named Chizzy and Clay. Chizzy and Clay were real names. Wow. I'd see that movie. Tippy Cumpster was a slight chair. <laughs> Fast and Furious. So they, Chizzy and Clay. They, uh, they're not getting along. There's a lot of an uh, antagonism and who's Chizzy between Chizzy them. Chizzy's, Chizzy's the, kid. the kid. Clay, Clay is... is the kind of the counselor with the cheesy mustache and the frizzy hair who's like, man, there's chicks on the other side of the lake, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's that guy. I love that guy. You know? Yeah. yeah. You would like him. You would have fit right into Cabin 6. So we're there. Everybody's doing their thing. But I can tell there is a relationship here between these two that is is headed for trouble and the days go by you do the flag football capture the flag and one day we are doing uh archery clay is teaching us how to shoot bows and arrows sure and chizzy's not around and clay's upset and he's like is anybody seen him da, 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 da. he's getting a little worked up and sure enough about a half mile away over the ridge comes this little dot of a person and he's screaming, you know, Clay, you're an idiot. You know, I'm going to report you to the counselors. It's just a little chizzy. And he's coming towards us. And Clay takes a bow <laughs> from the kid next to him and an arrow. Oh, gosh. And he pulls it back about as far as he can. He just lets it go. And I don't think he was trying to actually, I don't think he's trying to do anything. I think he's just trying to send out a, a kind of a warning flare, if yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. And I'm only 11 years old, and I'm watching this thing, and I don't know anything about aerodynamics, but I'm like, that's got good trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some heat on it. And it uh, proceeds to soar through the air, and just in one of those moments where the, the world stops uh, spinning on its axis, whew, the arrow goes through this young man's arm. Little chizzy. Yeah, he pulls up the arm, and the arrow has gone through it. He's fine. He's fine. The kid is fine. Yeah. But uh, moments later, uh, all of the children were collected from camp, and that was pretty much the end of my <laughs> camp experience. Wow. So you told my... this to your daughters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no camp for that. I don't know that that deserves an applause. Yeah, That's a, that makes that sense. That is an absolute true story. That's a great story. But then you, you, you come from uh, hanging with you know, the events with Hanging with Chizzy, and you end up being a big time actor. And uh, you're in this new film here. Uh, this is a uh, segue. Uh, Smooth. Thank you very much. This is, <laughs> this is uh, called uh, Seamless. Thank you. Brian Banks. Uh, Brian Banks, the story of Brian is a true story. Yeah, it is. Uh, tell me who you play in this. It's, it's actually an incredible story. Uh, 
Uh, Brian Banks, who's a football player, 16 years old, in high school, who had Pete Carroll scouting him. He has an amazing football career ahead of him and was accused of a crime that he didn't commit. And uh, the criminal justice system kind of scooped him up. He spent six years in prison. Uh, it was a very, rare, very rough story. Aldous Hodge, who's a wonderful actor, plays him in the, in the film. And uh, uh, I play Justin Brooks, who, who is a real-life guy. In fact, both, both these guys is obviously a very true story. Uh, Brian um, sought out the help of, of Justin Brooks, who runs the California Innocence Project, which has exonerated over 30 people and, and kind of gotten these people who are in prison, sometimes 10, 20, 30 years, gotten them out. For stuff they didn't do. Yeah. For stuff they didn't do. And it's not technicality stuff. I mean, it's, these are real, these are real uh, uh, people who just flat out didn't do it. And, and uh, he, you know, Brian, who is an incredible advocate for himself and kind of a larger than life, very positive person, he, he was the one who pushed this along and he got this organization that Justin started uh, to support him and, and ultimately got this case overturned. And his dream to play in the NFL was ultimately realized. It's an incredible... Uh, yeah, he ended up Yeah, doing the way that, that that finishes up is pretty wow. great. Yeah.